He wrote the Requiem to commemorate World War I and the construction of a new cathedral at Coventry, which was, of course, destroyed uh, in World War II. But I think there's obviously a more personal underlining as well of um, friends lost. And so it seems to have come uh, from a deep place of grief. The new cathedral for which this was written uh, was so touching in its, in its modernist spirit, in its openness and in, uh, in a sense of reconciliation being present everywhere. Britain's setting of words is so beautiful. He captures the, uh, not just the sound of English language, but also the meaning in it and the meaning behind it as well. So that's what really gets me about this piece. We are so fortunate that we're able to enhance the wonderful Ian O'Chorus with the ensemble of chorus members that are going to be performing in Porgy and Bess. And to be able to combine these two amazingly distinct vocal forces, I think is going to be really thrilling. The piece, um, with tremendous respect for the music, we hope, um, is a meditation on the themes of war, the repetitive cycle of war, the repetitive cycle of loss, and I think the underlying question of in what ways are we passing these patterns of behavior onto our children? Is there some way of going forwards to get back to a, a place of peace and living side by side without such grotesque, unnecessary loss.